Hi. Welcome to our channel. Several days back, I have received a request to create a three-dimensional representation of Sri Yantra. Well, Sri Yantra or Sri Chakra is a form of mystical diagram, usually inscribed in metallic plates like copper, and is worshipped by Hindus. It represents the Hindu goddess, Sri Tripura Sondari. When the two-dimensional Sri Yantra is represented in three dimensions, it is called a Mahameru, since it is resembling Himalayan mountain. Sri Yantra is believed to bring material and spiritual wealth. Hindus believe that it eradicates the negative energy surrounding us, and breaking the obstacles in our way of achieving success. It also thought to bring prosperity, peace, and harmony in our lives. I came to know from Wikipedia, that Sri Yantra consists of nine interlocking triangles, that surround a central point, known as a bindu. These triangles vary in size and shape, and intersect to form 43 smaller triangles, organized in five concentric levels, and they represent the cosmos and the human body. The triangles are circumscribed by two concentric circles composed of eight and sixteen petals, representing the lotus of creation. The entire configuration is framed by an earth square, with four doors open onto the regions of the universe. This is the picture I am taking from Wikipedia, under Creative Commons license, which is the starting point of creating the Sri Yantra. Welcome back. First step in the creation of Sri Yantra is, to insert the drawing of Sri Yantra, from my computer, into the canvas of Fusion 360. I am choosing the XY plane for this purpose. When inserted, the picture is not having the dimensions we need. Thus, we have to calibrate it first. The base square should have a dimension of 150 millimeters. So, I am marking the two adjacent corners of the square and give a value of 150. Now, we can start the drawing process. We have to make a 2D drawing based on our picture. First of all, I am going to create a center rectangle from the origin. The length and breadth are 150 millimeters. To draw the doors on each side of the square, I have to create two more rectangles, with the dimensions 45 by 170 each. But, the last rectangle is at 90 degrees to the first one. Now, I have to trim the inner lines, leaving behind the peripheral lines only. Since we need three such peripherals, I am making two offsets, with a spacing of 6 mm each. I have to make various circles of the Sri Yantra now, and I am starting it by making the central bindu. I am making a circle with a diameter of 3 mm. Quickly, I am drawing the other concentric circles, as per the picture, with appropriate diameters. Likewise, I am making the triangles by closely following the reference image in the background.
Now, it is the time for making the petals of the Sri Yantra. I am drawing a spline first, which is making one half of the petal. The handles of the spline points can be adjusted, in such a way to closely following the reference. We can get the full pedal, by mirroring this half. Here, I am using the Y axis, as the mirroring line. I am using a circular pattern, to draw all the 8 petals of the circle. In a similar way, I am also creating the second circle, containing 16 petals. We can finish our sketch now, and we can hide the reference image also. We can make the extrusions of the areas of the drawing, to make it three-dimensional. I am starting from the peripheral square, with an extrusion height of 5 mm. This process is repeated for two other squares, and two outer circles, with the increment of 5 mm in extrusion height, in each of the extrusions. The first petal circle can now be extruded to 40 mm from the base. Similarly, the second petal circle can be extruded to 50 mm from the base. Now, we can extrude the first of the five layers containing the interlocked triangles. The extrusion height is 5 mm. This process is repeated for the remaining four layers, with the increment of 5 mm in the extrusion height. Each extrusion is made into a new body. The central bindu is extruded to 80 mm.
The Sri Yantra is now almost complete. But the petals must be pointing downwards. This can be affected by suitably cutting the two petal layers. For this purpose, I am making a new sketch in the XZ plane. Then, I have to project some curves on this plane. These projections can be used as guides to make new splines. In order to view the new sketch, I am making the solid bodies invisible. Now I am making two splines in the new sketch. The shape of the splines can be altered by manipulating the handles of the spline points. These splines can be altered later, if needed. The areas enclosed by these splines and some lines can be revolved around the z-axis to make a new intersecting body. At this point I realized that I made a mistake in drawing the splines. So I am going back to correct the sketch by editing the sketch, using the history bar. I am changing the shape of the spline to improve the profile. The shape of the resulting solid is changed automatically. Now, the two petal layers can be combined to a single body. Because, this combined body is the target body for our next operation. I am now doing a cutting operation, using the combined body as the target body, and the newly created revolved body as the cutting tool. Finally, the upper petal layer surface circle can be extruded to 1 mm for clarity. The three-dimensional Sri Yantra is now finished. Thanks for watching.